Yep. That, oh, well, I got the guy. I pretended that I like to work out and go to the gym. And now that I've got him, I'm going to gain 200 pounds and he's just stuck with me. Yeah. That is a poisonous mentality. You should make an effort for your husband. Right. You don't just start a company and go, okay, I'm rich now. No, you got to work on that company every day. It's rented. You don't just get in shape and go, I'm in shape now. It's done. No, absolutely everything's the same. And a relationship is, is exactly the same. And I completely agree with you. Yeah, I think the reason a lot of men are also rejecting marriage is one, because there's not many wives to find. But two, I think, a lot of men find themselves very unhappy in marriage because the women have no interest at all in satisfying them, like you said, or no interest at all in, in their needs. And they end up scared of divorcing her because they're going to be bankrupt in a marriage where they don't feel respected. Kids don't listen to them and they're not the king of their own household. So what would be the attraction in getting married unless you're going to be the king of your own household? And that can be extrapolated and discussed in two different ways. One about feminine sub uh, submissiveness, but also in about masculine accountability and excellence. Because I think if you're truly an excellent man, you can be the king of any household. So 